to the In the Den Show. I'm your host, Charles Malcolm. I'm co-host, Attorney Calvin Johnson. And I'm A.L. Smith. On the PowerPlayRadioNetwork.com and Power TV. So we're here. We're here, fellas. And this, and this is the thing. We have the cypher here, the Dallas cypher. I want to support my guys. We got Suave, Picasso, Hello, I'm Throwed, and Caution. Caution. <laughs> I remember Caution. He was, he was the last guy on the, on, on the rap. And I was just like, man, that's smooth. He came in on the air real smooth on the, on the first cypher. And it's funny because... I'll tell you how I met these guys. You know, I was actually riding around listening to Souls of Mischief one day, and I was like, man, I just wish Dallas had some rap that was lyrical, brothers that were talented, and I walked in, and be careful what you ask for. Because I walked into these guys doing this cypher, and I, every last one of them killed it. I was like, man, do, do we have this in Dallas? And yes, we do. Yeah. And I said, man, we need to support Dallas hip-hop, uh, support knowledgeable brothers. They don't, they're not mumble rappers. They're not auto tune rappers. They're very lyrical poets. Great rappers. Great hustlers. And I just when I when I saw them, I had to bring them all on. How did you come up with your names? Uh, our individual rap names. Yeah. Yes. Like, like Each one. Yeah, you yeah. go first. Um, when I was younger, because uh, my name um, is two parts. Um, it's Throwed, and then it's an Elohim part. Now, when I was younger, I got into, I was, you know, out there, so I was throwed off. So that was a name that I took on. Um, <laughs> as I got older, it was a weird thing. Um, I was just hello, I'm throwed, because it's a popular uh, Texas term, so I didn't want to be confused. So I was just hello, I'm throwed mm -hmm. on the internet, make it make it work. Uh -huh. Facebook didn't like my name, so um, hmm. I had a, I have a, a verse from a previous cipher uh, where I involved the word Elohim, meaning God, mm -hmm. and. Um, I incorporated that to separate my name, so if Facebook doesn't like this and they find out, I went to Elohim Drove, but what I decided that, that would, would be would be like my higher self uh -huh. and my lower self. Okay. So when I'm, when I'm doing right and I'm, I'm drinking water and I'm being conscious, I'm, I'm, I'm being Elohim. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I'm eating processed right. foods and I'm oh, not being bro. myself, I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Nice. Throw. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's what's up. That's yeah. the yeah. nice answer. Um, I call myself Picasso because I had a friend named Eric Malone. Uh, now we, we, he started, he was a little bit more as mentally advanced than me at the particular juncture of our life. And um, he called himself Van Gogh. So he started studying painters and stuff like that, Van Gogh and Rembrandt. He said, hey man, your name Picasso. Who, who is Picasso? Imagine at a point in that particular juncture in my life, I didn't know who Picasso was. Mm -hmm. He said, you, you Picasso, I'm Van Gogh. He went to West End and got us a name tag. And that's when, I, that's when I had the phonetic spell the way that you normally would spell Picasso, mm -hmm. which is P-I-C-A-S-S-O. -S -S mm -hmm. I said, wow, Picasso. And I just took that name and in my home where Eric Malone called himself Van Gogh. We just wanted to name ourselves because most rappers had the typical name. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be different. He said, hey, maybe we're going to call ourselves Picasso Van Gogh. We're going to have a group of rappers. And we all named after painters. And I stuck with Picasso. Mm -hmm. But as, as, it, as it evolved, I, I how my eyes, I look at words like I look, like I look at the beauty of an African-American woman. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the way it looked in its natural essence. So I changed the phonetics of the P-I-K-A-S-S-O. -S that wasn't enough for me. So I put the A-H in it. And sometimes in the in in old in the old part of the console, uh, you see the smiling face or or, or, or the uh, down face. I just put that in the old, depending if I'm in a melancholy mood or if I'm in a good mood. So I call myself Picasso, period, point blank, because of my homeboy Eric Malone. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. I went a long way with his name, Eric Malone. Thank you, South Dallas, Lincoln High. Salute. Right. Right. <laughs> Man, that's hot. <laughs> My rap moniker is Caution Mr. 700. Um, I grew up in Compton, California. Um, the caution was derived from the style of music that I make and like the aggressive tone that we use. Like mm -hmm. I, I had a name previously that didn't really fit. What was it? Um, <laughs> it was <laughs> actually Envy. Like I don't Envy. I chose it. And then I found out it was a DJ named Envy and I was like, oh, oh, I gotta yeah, scratch yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's ahead of the curve. Right, right, so yeah. um, but actually it was a good friend of mine the same way that was like, You should go by caution, but use a K instead. Okay. And I was just like, Okay, that's it seems cool, so I went with it and then I seen that there was a ton of cautions out there. Like mm. if you yeah. if you search it, it would be hard yeah. to find me. So the Mr. 700 is the neighborhood that I grew up in. I grew up on the 700 block of uh, West Laurel in Compton, California. So okay. That's where the Mr. 700 part cool. came from. Cool. Um, yeah, um, we also have a moniker that we go by as a, as a unit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it's men of a certain age. Um, and so that was a tagline for us. Um, okay. And it kind of identifies us all. So. I, mean, I didn't know if nobody else was going to mention it. I was like, I know it is. I was going to make sure. I thought that's where we were going initially. But. I was going to make that correction, because I know, I know it's coming. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Some people call it mocha. You know? Right, I'll take that too. I mean, I, I, sure. We'll take it. Uh, I am Suave Burgundy. Um, as a as a extra moniker, the mayor of Oak Cliff, Texas. So okay. explaining right. the Suave part, that happened about, um, I was about 14 years old. 
in eighth grade, I just started hanging around. I just uh, moved to Oak Cliff, moved to a different part of Oak Cliff, actually. And going to school with my different friends, and they were like, you all, you're always mellow, you're always cool about situations. You handle things a certain way. So they started calling me Suave. It yeah. stuck. Mm -hmm. um, Burgundy, for those of you who have seen the movie Anchorman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel as though if of all these different perspectives and all this different news you get from different artists and MCs, I feel as though I most most correctly represent the um, the slant of news that is for us. Okay. So um, you know, Channel Four News team, I, I'm I'm the face of that. So you guys are conscious rappers. I guess you can call that on occasion. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can be caught, but we about like us, like Suave, like you said, we are. We always try to implement intellect. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in hip hop, people think being dumb is cool. Like, oh, I'm a furry fool. We try to implement in intellect in our in, in, in a subliminally and subconsciously putting encrypted Easter eggs inside the mind of these mm -hmm. kids. I think we all grew up in an era that, yeah. that being cool, being smart was cool. Right. Yeah, yeah, we listen to like Daylight and, and, and yeah. guys yeah. like that. They, was, yeah. they had a lot of yeah. subliminal messages. So, KRS-1. Like right. you said, consummate professionals. Yeah. I want a kid to look up and see what a consummate professional means. Right. We're saying right. thalamus dopamine. We want yeah. kids to know that. We use four sentences. Yeah, <laughs> complete sentences. <laughs> complete sentences. And words that have more than three or four letters, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. So, yes. so, yes. so there's there, there's an argument that rap is not a true art form. Are you no, I'm not saying you, but yeah. I just called him the culmination of Gil Scott Heron. This dude right Gil Scott Heron. Yeah. Whether we all you know, know what? You, that's a good That's yeah. a compliment. Right. Do you yeah. know who Gil Scott Heron, the last Absolutely. poets? Yeah. That's Absolutely. The, Gil Scott Heron yeah. is probably one of the greatest He's human beings man. God ever created. Yeah. And Gil Scott, the last poets, I did a show with them at the, uh, what's, the what's the thing? The, the, uh, by, uh, Black Forest. Yeah, I know what you're talking that about. That little field, I did a show with yeah. them. <laughs> The last poet, mm -hmm. you, for, for a person to say hip hop is not art, I get goosebumps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you know, we, we, you're looking at the, the culmination of new Langston Hughes, uh -huh. Nicky Giovanni, we're uh -huh. making them in hip hop. The way our rhymes are constructed, you put them together, they're like color grids. So, right. Jill Scott here, he said the revolution will not be, be televised. televised. That's right. But it is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's no. well, right. it will be televised or just be live streamed. <laughs> 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 but you know, the, one of the things that I, I can t take from you guys when I walked in, and this is why I have so much respect for y'all, and this is why I wanted y'all on the show today, is because y'all took me back to a time where there, where there were poets. And I think you guys are poets. And I could tell by listening to each part of your rhyme that you really worked on it. You worked on every single line. And you right. delivered it the way it's supposed to be delivered. Y'all, y'all were not fit up and doing all the stutter, stutter up stuff. Because <laughs> I can't do. Because don't get me wrong, okay? There's, there's a, there's a, there's an audience for that. Right. right. But what it's you guys do, you guys are poets. I think as far I as I'm concerned, did you bring any music for me to purchase? Um, to purchase. Or how can I find? I want to. How can I find? We got a new song called "Men of a Certain Age." It's uh -huh. produced by Miggy Beats. Uh -huh. It's on. You can find it on our Instagram conduits, uh, right. Facebook, all the websites, and all that. It's mm -hmm. called. Men of a certain age. Okay. The song is pretty dope. I hate to take over. I got a question. No, ask questions. I, I, okay, I do go got go a question. Ahead. So, you know, we I come from that, that age of KRS one and conscious rappers too. Mm -hmm. Right. And and my my question is, what do you think it will take to push the envelope of the conscious rapper back into the mainstream? I, I mean, because you got, you know, you you've got some cats out there, but it's not right now it's like you said, the mumble rapper and mm -hmm. and you know that's that's not educating anyone. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just dance hooks. It's entertainment. We want, we want content, you know, but not what sound. what do you think is going to take for that that bomb to drop like a mm -hmm. like, like a nuclear consumer. bomb? It's the consumer. It's the consumer. It's the consumer. You know yeah. what, what has to happen to that audience though for them I'll to say, it. "Wow, that you know I'm gonna gravitate back towards it's our school that. system, man." I'm sorry, it's our school it's, system. It's, it's that, but think? I'll say this too: we have to put ourselves in a position where when we make that kind of music and we want to be heard, we have to start putting ourselves in positions to be the people who are putting that music out. We have to be the, the PDs and, the, and the, the directors of these radio stations. We have to be the people that are behind the labels and making things. Because people didn't just decide one day, I just want to listen to the worst kind of music. Right. That's pushed on. It's pushed on, right. So we have to be in a position to say, nah, I don't listen to that. It's this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We got to give right. it to them. Yeah. Really, it's people like y'all, believe it or not. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. Yeah. The temperature of the consumer just has to be at a point to where they're ready to accept that and mm -hmm. use their voice. And by voice, I mean your money. Because mm -hmm. that's what yeah. you ultimately speak with. Mm -hmm. You say, we want this versus this because you put your money there. Mm -hmm. And also the support of those that already are doing, doing that type it. of yes, music. Definitely. Because I think the, the selling point for those is like, if I make this type of music, will anybody pay attention to it because it's being ignored? Right. So instead of doing what you may naturally feel is conscious music or 
articulating yourself a certain way mm-hmm. for people yeah. to hear you. If that's not what sells, then you're more you'll go the other way. And it's say, funny. I'll me make and Quaco, me and Picasso had a conversation because we, we we talk about stuff and because I'm a lawyer, I, I always look at people like okay, you want to make money at doing it because. Right. Being able to continue to do it, mm-hmm. you have to make money to do it, mm-hmm. right. and sometimes you end up compromising your art right. to be able yeah. to actually do, to be able to continue to do it. Right. And so that's why right. I think that's a constant conflict that you guys are in in your spirit. Do I make music right. to sell so I can continue to make music I love? Believe it or not, yeah. if you really think about it, years ago. If, right. if you really sit back and think about it, it's almost like a mutiny going on right now. Absolutely. If you go to like the, uh, the, these poetry spots and you go like to see Common. It's yeah. a lot of people coming to them shows. We, yeah. I seen you at the Miguel Atwood Ferguson. Right. That place right. was packed to the multitude. Packed. With yeah. people of all different ethnicities, yeah. race, colors, and creeds. So it's a mutiny. All you have to do is do it and love it. You know what? And with love, you grow. Exactly. You know what? You know what happened when I saw y'all? I actually thought about what you just said. I said, there is a market. And to me, that's the next step because it can't go any lower than three and four words of a, song <laughs> or a, a, a bar. I'm serious. Right. So yeah. the, it, it's going to be a correction. And I figure that you guys like yourself, y'all going to be part of that correction well, because the, that's what it's going to be for real. The music industry changed. Like, yeah. There is right. no such thing as going to get you a major record deal. Yeah, no, you gotta, you got to sell yourself. You got to become, yeah. uh, what's my boy, my homeboy from Louisiana? Kevin Gates? No, yeah, him too. But, no, before him. <laughs> Master P. Okay. I forgot about that. That's him. the blue yeah. Yeah. As yeah. A, right. I'm a Most writer. You're it's like the indie label is, yeah. is where it's at. Yeah, and it's so, funny because, yeah, right. you're right. you got to be. Um, Jay Z. Yeah, you know, you gotta be independent. Your, it's about ownership, man. Stuff. Especially, yeah. 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 You know, cause fun. Like yeah. right now, I don't listen. I, 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 of course, listen to you guys, cause I, I like y'all stuff every time y'all put it out. Right. And, but right. you know, cause people, oh, you listen. Man, I listen to gangster stuff too. I, I, I mean, Picasso, I Picasso was actually laughing at me because I listen to Nipsey Hussle. He was like, we just talking about Nipsey Hussle. Time to time, you know what? A little flavor, a little. Can I get some gangster stuff together? We was in the in the room back there. I can assure you, it's possible. Okay. We was in the room back there just talking about Nipsey Hussle, talking about. The people like Nipsey Hussle and uh, uh, David Banner and yeah, Killer Mike. Yeah, but yeah. you know yeah. why I like them? Well, and, and they propagate the, the good word, man. They propagate the word, and then in addition, to like they, they, it seems like they they understand the business and they're great businessmen. Mm-hmm. That's what hit me on the Nipsey. You know why I start listening to Nipsey Hussle? I'll tell you the truth. There's a video called The Midas Touch. Have y'all saw it? I've seen it. Mm-hmm. Where he took the old school dude who has been sweeping his lot for yeah. 13 years, took him and got him a haircut, bought mm-hmm. him a Tom Ford suit, bought him a gold chain. Uh, I got him uh, some, uh, twin lobsters at a restaurant, dressed him up, and I said, man, you know what, man, that's that's real. Mm-hmm. He's showing his OG, he's showing the old school love, mm-hmm. and that, that's an even start paying attention to him, period. And then I listened to him more, and I was like, okay, this is a good dude. I need a pen. So, so I, I got another question. So you know how Killer Mike moved into politics, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Do you do you guys see that maybe maybe that's where entertainment is going as far as the educational rappers? Okay. Is is there a movement? I mean, because people are, are identifying with the political division so much, and it mm-hmm. kind of is becoming the character of people. Do you think that that's a market that you could capitalize on and kind of lift people up? You, you know. Can. But see, here's my problem with that: is when you get when you do that, then you make it a situation where people feel like I just have to be in entertainment. And I can do this, okay. and that's the, that's the problem. That's how you get Donald Trump. Because <laughs> people see one so person doing democracy. Yeah, and, and yeah. then they say, "Well, yeah. I can I can fit in that in that, in that." And they do They don't have the same intention. Okay. And that that is a big problem. And another thing too is a lot of us um, have a lot of good ideas, yeah. but we haven't we haven't really sourced those ideas out and yeah. figured out. We don't know what we think we know a lot of the time, and I I can admit that a lot of times I have good ideas and I have things um, how I feel like things should work. Yeah. But that's not necessarily how you get it to work, you know. So you have to. I think it's sometimes being able to to find out who knows best. If you are in entertainment, who mm-hmm. knows what they're doing, and go into them and sit down with them and say, "You know what? I want to push what you forward." Do? Yeah, I can, I can definitely say hip hop will be a part of uh, politics going forward because it's the voice of an entire generation. Right. I'm thinking the millennials, yeah. and you know, it's it's a movement. Yeah. You have grassroots. You have a whole generation that's multicultural that have been raised on hip hop. So hip hop right. is going to be a driving force it's in everything that goes forward. So. Uh, right. Sooner or later, more politicians will start to try to use and infuse hip hop into their campaigns to try to sway the vote. Yeah, we've seen, yeah. we've seen it happen with Jay Z and Beyonce mm-hmm. supporting Hillary Clinton and Kanye with mm-hmm. Trump and things like that. But you can see the downside of it too is with someone like Chrisette oh. Michelle who oh, decided oh. to perform and Ooh, it's just about her boom. Career. You get an explosion. People want Booker. Yeah. Yeah. People want Booker. So if you choose a side, even if that side is money and you're choosing to do so for a reason, it's a lot of times people can either get involved or not get involved yeah. because they don't know 
the ramifications or the positives mm-hmm. on either side. Absolutely. So, but you yeah. guys can sway because we got some yes. lost people in your generation. I put it to you like this: you can you can fix. Yeah, you, you should can never help stop to trying to Whether teach, you, regardless of what right. it is. Whether you like it or not, like I said in the round, I propagate, educate, and generate a light. You have to propagate. So once you do that, you automatically have a responsibility. I used to be very visually, verbally, and mentally irresponsible until I started getting killed. Like, Picasso, you said that in your song. Wow, my daughter. So sometimes you, you have to, like, like if Tupac would have lived, he would have evolved to be our next yes. Malcolm X. Yes. So sometimes whether yeah. you like it or not, well even, even the guys, even the number rappers, they are somewhat of a leader because okay. they, have a, they have a power. Uh-huh. Right. And with, oh, that's so, but what are they leading? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Exactly. So we yeah, all, are, we yeah, all are poli- politicians of some sort, of, some sort because we, got, we put this information out there. Mm-hmm. I, I did stuff like, I done did interview before, like, my dude, you delete that part. I don't want that out there like that. Right, right, I'm, right, I'm real right, careful with what I put right. out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That means a lot to me. I know people think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Yeah. Now, don't put me out there like that, my dude. Right, yeah. It's a certain yeah. way I, it's a certain way I gotta I wanna be, be perceived. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. real strict about that. Yeah. So I really am. I'm, I'm yeah. with you on that. Your brand, your brand is real, man. I'll be on my page deleting it, but like, no. No, man. He just said that was lame. Delete, delete. No, you can't say that kind of No, not me. You get the memories that pop up on Facebook from me. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. It's okay to be controversial as long as you believe in the controversy. Yeah. Controversy yeah. with a purpose. I'm very controversial. Yeah. With, a right. purpose. with a purpose. But I, I don't believe in cooning. Exactly. Yeah. And shucking and jiving and hucking bucking. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. 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 I, know y'all y'all mean. Mean. <laughs> I know what y'all mean. I know what y'all mean when y'all say that. that Absolutely. I can't, I can't, I can't coon. coon. The bag no. ain't, your bag ain't big enough. Your favorite rapper. <laughs> Oh wow! Everybody, right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, oh, okay, we gotta, wait, 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 we gotta wait, wait. generalize. Oh, that's okay, listen. That's, that's your favorite oh, old school rapper. How, 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 about, how about, rapper about this? Now. When you get in the car and you, everybody been in that mood where you like, I don't know what I feel like listening to, and then you go to to your jam. Mm. Who is that? That's a good question. How about you're, that? You're riding music. Mm. Right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna go right now, I'm going to go with the most consistent. It's either going to be one of the three. It's going to either be Drake, J. Cole, or Kendrick Lamar for me right now. J. Cole. Like, you can, if you, either one of those, and, and I'm going to go as far back as I can with them because I've been listening for since they all started. Yeah. So, you know, if you give me either one of those, I'm sure we can find something there. Okay. Houston. When you think about Houston, what comes to your mind? Scarface. 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 Who else? You like Slim Thug? Yeah. Yeah. I think about comedian. Let me tell you, I'm a Devin the Dude fan. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. oh yeah, I'm oh, a yes. Devin fan. I, I got Devin, Devin just be talking to you. Mm-hmm. You know, he just talks to you. He was in town last night. Matter of fact, you know, yeah, always in town. Always, always yeah. he was in. Sh- he had a show last night. I mm-hmm. believe Kendrick Lamar is Devin the Dude reincarnated. Hmm. Okay. I can see okay. that. You listen to him, ah. folks. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. The style, the voice, I definitely can see. Yeah. The mm-hmm. cadence is, is something I agree with. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Oh, I mean, Swaz, MC. Uh, That's what I'm thinking okay. about. That's it. rough, like, because I DJ too, so sometimes <laughs> I have to care for stuff out of the way. Uh, I'm a Field Mob fan. Oh, yeah. who's oh, a Field yeah. Mob? Heavily, I mean, heavily, heavily Field Mob yeah. fan. Um, I, I do drift more towards Southern MCs okay. you know, that are um, a little more polished and lyrical. Mm-hmm. Um, it just depends because it could be Field Mob, it could be Three Six Mafia. Oh, then I, I could just be listening to stuff I want to sample. Right. Okay. Right. 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 It's all kind of stuff. It's just okay. You're from LA. All right, right Carson, right. tell me what's up. What's who you who you, who you listening to? Who you like? Oh, then you gotta say to give us a couple. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, oh. It's, it's, I mean, right now it's gonna be J Cole. Okay. It's gonna be King. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We waiting on you. Ice Cube. I ain't gonna lie. My my rapper who 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 I like. I like Big Daddy King because I like people that does has complex yeah, rhyme vernacular yeah, yeah. and rhyme structures. I like I like rhyme like man. I like people that rhyme within the rhyme. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you you got people like Big Daddy King. They rhyme it within the rhyme and these intricate patterns. They like labyrinths and they like they like they like there intricate was a puzzle line. pieces. Cool G rap. There was a line that set it off. He went, e- even if I started, I could still come off. I was just like, oh, my <laughs> right. God. Hey. Do he hit it? Hey. And it killed me. Hey, you know the line? Kill me. You know the dopest line? Most don't get enough credit. Hey, you know the dopest oh, line? Oh, yeah. man. You know the dopest line I ever heard before in hip-hop to me that gave me goosebumps by Cool G Rap? He said, when I die, scientists going to reserve my brain. Donated to science, the answer, the unexplained. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. He said when he died, his brain going to be donated to science. So they can <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an Afri- that's a African-American brother saying that. Dude. I mean, yeah. you know how cocky Ooh. that is yeah. when I died. I kind of I, I kind of got that and I said to my site, I said, I'm going to put my Dallas Museum of Art. I said, well, that kind of inspired by that. When I die, I want my body to be in Dallas Museum of Art so kids can go, that's Picasso. 
man, I'm studying this guy. That I'm studying his brain. He knows who he is as yeah. a black man. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, a, and we, don't, we don't all understand that. That's yeah. a bold statement yeah. to make. That's uh-huh. a scary See, there's so much in some of the lines, and that's why when I listen to y'all and I listen to Picasso, man, there's so much in your lines. Like, there can be five, ten different meanings in one line. Yeah. And that's what I miss in hip hop. Yeah, that's that, that, that moment where you go, oh, yeah, yeah man, that, that moment. That's what we, that's what, that's what that we bring back. Yeah. Like when and I said, you like five, six times in one jam. Like, like, on, like on the first yeah. cycle, I said Friday a.m. I wake up backwards like a parrot damn pumas. I'm Muslim. Mm-hmm. I said I can't let the negative consume you. You know, Friday we go to Juma. Right, Muslim. right. I, I was looking in my closet right for like right a couple weeks before we wrote it. I looked at my puma shit A.M. up backwards. That's when we go to pray to worship God. See, and right. Allah. A.M. up. You can have that and I put that down. Man, we got rappers, man. They brains. Most of these MC's brains should be put in the Smithsonian. Right, right. Buster Rhymes, like you said, Buster Rhymes Ooh. is probably one of the illest minds. Black Ooh. thought, one of the illest minds that right. God has ever created. I'm beast, saying that. Man. And they black minds. I know. All yeah, of them. And them, them minds All should be that. cherished. Yeah. Them minds should be cherished and put inside boxes. You should, Stevie Wonder should be put in a box like the boy in the plastic bubble and don't let nothing happen to him. <laughs> yeah, you have to cherish minds like that. Yeah, God man. don't create minds like that no more. Yeah, man. I'm trying to God don't create minds like that no more. If y'all could do a song with anybody right now, who would it be? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a good question. If you could collaborate with somebody. Mine would be a producer. It would be, um, if I could right now, it would be... A good friend of mine, his name is Soundwave. He's actually a producer for Kendrick Lamar. Um, yeah, yeah. So he produced like all of the lights, the, uh-huh. the soundtrack to Black Panther. And so mm-hmm. I started working with him initially. We got early works, but mm. if I had the chance to do that now, I I work with him. Great. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I'll you'll be surprised that. who like Kendrick Lamar works. But this is a guy I listen to a lot of jazz. I'm a jazz guy. Uh, yeah. There's a guy named Kamasi Washington mm-hmm. that did some oh, stuff with Kendrick no, Lamar, and I listen to Kamasi. He has a song called Truth, and uh-huh. I listen to the complex, the layering of the beats. Stuff like that, and it, it's mm-hmm. funny because you guys are, are musicians. Y'all understand the the, the, the music part of it. And I think like, that's another thing we're losing out on the music part of, of, of what you guys do. Right. Yeah. Who I like to work with? I'm glad you said that. Bob James. I'm a big jazz fan. Blue Note Jazz. Idris Muhammad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ahmad Jamal. Oh, that's my guy. Grover Washington. Bob Stevie James. Wonder. Quincy Jones. Yeah. I, I like how they, they they songs have like. They crescendos how the song just kind of is slowly elevating it. Mm-hmm. Then it's then yeah. it's a decrescendo and it goes down. Yeah. They don't make yeah. music like that. Mm-hmm. Parliament mm-hmm. Funkadelic. I got a chance oh, to see man. The Diaper Tower Man. Power, man. Come yeah. on. Have you ever seen Diaper Man before in life before he passed no. away? No. I seen Diaper Man Mm-mm. with the Parliament. They was at the hard rock. Mm-hmm. I like to work with those. I wish I could bring them back and work with those guys. Yeah. God, don't take no don't take no more of our legends away. Stevie Wonder. No. Have you yeah. seen Stevie Wonder drum? Have you seen him drum? Oh they would give you goosebumps. We need goosebumps music. Yeah. yeah, there's, there's a video of him out there. You, yeah. Yeah. You Stevie him. Wonder is the dopest yeah. drummer ever. Wow. Yeah. I, I promise you. Work with yeah. people like that. Yeah. yeah. And you know, you know what I grew up listening to the most, man, and I tell y'all because it's funny how we talk about South music and, and I tell y'all, man, I love these guys to death. Y'all know what I'm finna say, eight ball and MJG. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. I mean, I listen Mr. to them. Yeah. You know, honestly, people that understand, like me being a lawyer, trying to, you know, coming from South Dallas, Dixon Circle, and Bonton, my grind was right. thinking about on a on an educational right. level. I was taking their grind, their street grind, and applying it to the educational mm-hmm. level. We got you know. I know. <laughs> so man. That, that, what about Luke? Hey, what about Luke? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I said oh. rock Luke, man. Luke oh, yeah. don't get the credit for what he did for no. Southern hip hop. Oh, yeah, man. No. Okay. You, do I go? Right Am I right or wrong? Luke tried to get me high once in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> did you do it? No. No. I, no. <laughs> no. No. Luke. No. Okay, yeah. We, we, about, wait. We, oh. Let me real quick. We were in Margaritaville. On the Tom Joyner cruise, and we riding with Luke and his bodyguards, me and my wife, to Margaritaville. And th- yeah, and so, yeah, yeah. And so, so uh, you know, he had the Luke dancers to get up there and have everybody shaking and all that. And then uh, me and my wife did our thing. We cheating too much. She did a split on my face <laughs> oh. on the stage. They kicked Luke okay. out. Wow. We got back to the ship. We got back to the ship, and uh, his bodyguard was like, "You know, you got Luke kicked out that club." <laughs> and I was like, "Luke, thank you." American trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, We're right. gonna take a break. We're gonna be right back. We got we got the crew in the house. Picasso. Yeah. This is your boy Charles Malcolm. I'm attorney Calvin Johnson. And I'm Al Smith. In the den. We'll be right back. Ask some dope questions, man. So. Yeah.
Welcome, welcome back to the dead. And we have Caution, Suave, Picasso, and Hello, I'm Fro. Live in the studio, and they're going to give us a little bit of lyrical blessing. So let's go get it, fellas. Let's go. Guess I can start it off. It's Caution, Mr. 700, Mr. 700.net. Uh, culmination of greatness parallel with hope. I simulated the pain of those who couldn't cope. I watched the entire process through a microscope, formulated my hypothesis, and came up with an antidote. Determined to be better than my father was, and his father too. But who am I to judge? Moving on now, so instead of holding the grudge, I dig a hole and bury everything inside that was. Everybody's a critic till they criticize. Suspect activities leave a nigga victimized. A product of my environment, yes, where failure was common, but yet and still we strive for success. Get exposed to the struggle without the means to succeed, which results in the hustle in which we choose to believe. We conceived in grave circumstances, then deceived and deprived of any second chances, stuck searching for answers. Tunnel vision, no peripheral view and no glancing. Advancing, enhancing the craft, raising the standard. Canned divisions mixed with scandalous living. I stand and never give it an illustrated with rhythm. Would say I made it out, but I'm trapped in this fucking prism, reacting to what I'm living, adapt, attacking the fucking system. Listen, through it all, I remain optimistic. You can call me a nigga, just don't call me a statistic. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Suave Burgundy, follow me on all social media platforms at Suave for Mayor. The website is www.suaveformayor.com. That is the number four, not the word for. Campaign. Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. 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 Oh, neighbor. Oh, oh neighbor. neighbor. Campaign. Campaign. If it wasn't for your tax refund, you would never have the funds to pretend you need these guns. You will rerun where we from. What y'all mean by rerun? Listen closely to me, son. If we pull up, see what's happening now, you gon' turn in the rerun. Yeah. Do cardio, but don't run track. Unless it's rap, then I run tracks. With dope lines like I run traps. But look around at all the dunce caps. But look around at all the dunce caps. But look around at all the dunce caps. What you mean you don't run track, but turn around and say you run track? Well, you say you secure the bag, but you ain't never got no stacks. My word plays, James, word they of a championship. Lake show. You don't have a stamina. You should take five. I just take four. Mo, years. You should get down with the campaign. Ain't you tired of losing? Are you not entertained? Have I not given you everything? Someone to believe in? People be secretly waiting on me. Tax-free weekend. But see me, I swim in the deep end. Right by the shark tank. Try to get up with Mark Cuban and start moving my profit. Rank, rank, rank. Mm. Mm. All right. Look, God's gift, that's my present. You ever still a divine presence? Cause I'm present. You looking for that dope boy? Then I'll present. Bars that'll make you call me Big Pharma. Whew, this that Candace Majoris flow. I get to producing cannons and damage your torso. Can't bandage without this mantle, you panicking more so. Mess with my clan, I'll put dots on the clan like Morse code. I went from Ra to you, Waskata. Snatch a mom who rappers watch and tell him this is my time. Mm. Look. Forget your chain and your wristwatch. I'm weaving in and out of traffic, no pit stop. This next bar took some jeans to connect, cause I'm a train on this track and you got damsel in distress. Mm. Look, mm. dastardly, I've been a dick. <sighs> Food for thought, beef for breakfast, call me Eggs Benedict, Cumber Batch, new rapid strength. I don't rock weight, mind stone, in a plastic chain. We are not the same time zone. Ooh. Mm. I am the river through which your thought flows. I am the teacher who taught you the things you think you know. I am Pablo, a.k.a. the Brown Picasso. I am Malcolm in the middle, peeping out my window. I am UPN transmitting on Channel 21. You are Luke, I am Darth Vader, so you are my son. I am a poet who ain't afraid to show it. I am the best who did it from Dallas now, nigga. Act like you do not know it. I ain't no flip-flop. I am hip-hop in my heart, soul, and mind. I'm a modern-day Morris who is way before my time. It's in my jeans like I'm Calvin because I'm lyrically inclined. I am a bad boy who won't stop until I get big and I shine. I'm an avant-garde wordsmith who loves to propagate my lessons. To be in my circumference is considered to be a blessing. I am the pinnacle. That means I reign supreme. Like Diana Ross in Central Park. That is a clever rhyme scheme. I am notorious. I crush you like a jelly bean. I am bad as I want to be. Just like Dennis. Oh, dog, you can't do new tricks. I am a menace. I am an introvert who function better when I am alone. I am a mother, I am a father, why? Cause I'm the chromosome. Breaking down barriers. 
Walls in the room. I'm dancing on this hooded nigga. I am trouble with a broom. <laughs> it's so simple for my temple. Then Mr. Jones will seal your doom. You know what I am? I am an artist who's Indiana and I ain't trying to be like Andre. I'm not dissing, so please listen to what I don't say. I'm a destroyer, your mic warrior, come on and play. When I rhyme, I know the time like Mari Zam Day. I confess that I'm the best, that I'm not gonna cry. So forget it, I did it like I was Eli. Porter, one quarter, and P gon' try. To prevent you, I'll end you, and I'm saying bye bye. Like Aaron, I'm Darren. Oh, you new jacks to swing, but don't bring the weak ass tracks. You be shook and be hook on me like crack. I am ridiculous, nigga. I'm Nicholas. Eight's enough, in fact. Get eight more MCs you think can't rhyme. That's 16 MCs ate up like swine. Nigga, I rock mics like him, and I'm on my grind. I'm fiending, I'm meaning to speak my mind. Psychedelic. Woo! <laughs> I love it, man. That's what I'm talking about. Real Bar. hop, lyrics, bars, no mumbling. I know it. <laughs> hey, bars, this is, these are the guys. We, we're having a great time today. Once again, we have Caution, Suave, Picasso, and Hello I'm Throwed in the house representing Dallas hip hop, representing man. conscious hip hop, yes, representing sir. hip hop, period. I didn't Once go back again. and rewind that tape so y'all can catch what we said, y'all. <laughs> Man of a certain yeah, age. Y'all put it on a rewind the tape, y'all. Study it. Exactly. And You're going to have to listen to it, it ten times <laughs> to understand what they grind. <laughs> but you'll understand what he's saying, though. Oh, yeah. But yes. do you understand well, is, what he's saying? Yeah, listen to what he's saying. Listen to all he's saying. The yeah. pinnacle that means I reign supreme, like Diana Ross in Central Park. Mm -hmm. Remember she was performing in Central Park mm -hmm. and it rained yeah. when she was in the group Supremes? Come on, Man. I reign supreme. So we going to take you out. This is the end of the dance show. This is your boy Charles Malcolm. I'm Tony Calvin Johnson. And for A.L. Smith, we'll catch you next time. Take care. Peace. 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 All right. And we said that was hot. Yes, yes. Y'all send me all the pictures, y'all.